Something is wrong. The once peaceful dinosaurs of the Lost Island Ark have united in aggressive herds, become untamable, and have started nesting. G'day everybody, Chaotic here, and I have 100 days to figure out what is going on here and try to restore order before this Ark is condemned to extinction. I arrive and take a look around. I see a bunch of harmless galleys roaming in a herd. And thinking nothing of it, I move up the beach and I begin to gather. Oh shit. Fuck! Bad galleys! Bad galleys! Welcome to the hunted experience, my boy! I wake up down the beach and carry on knowing I'm going to have to be a little bit more cautious. After some more gathering, I craft a pick. Okay, this is taking way too long. What is going on here? Once the pick was finally finished, I ate some of my favorite azzleberries, and I noticed that my torpor is going up. Why am I starting to get sleepy? The berries I ate? Oh, is that Dodo chasing me? Oh, he's mad at me. After dealing with the Dodo, I skinned it for some hide, and I plucked some feathers. That's new to me. After smacking it for its meat, I got to work and I killed a few more dodos, and I built a campfire to cook some food, and I waited out the night. Just a bunch of galleys coming closer. These fires scare them away. And you're thinking, but they're galleys, they're not that scary. You didn't just get murdered by them in day one. During the night, I heard a strange, scary noise in the distance. fuck was that? When suddenly some baby galleys ran by me and I instinctively poked one. Oh, mistakes were made, mistakes were made, mistakes were made! Get lost! Ow! Thankfully, the fire scared them away. Okay, do not poke babies. That's the lesson I just learned. Once the sun came up, I knew I had to get some shelter made. So I got to work, and it took me all day to make the most basic of huts. And hey, at least I made a cute little chaotic. Come on, you gotta give them, give them a show. Give them a show. Come on, give them a show, you lazy bastard. On the morning of day three, I headed out in search of small dinos so I could get some hide. And I came across a compy nest. And after killing a couple, I got overwhelmed. And I had to change it up. And I killed them with fire. Fire. Make me God. After gathering up some hide and an egg from a nest, I headed back to base where I found some Archaeopteryx. And after chasing one down and killing it, the other one managed to slip away. I went back to base knowing I'm going to need to start upgrading my tools. And I went to work to level up. After making up a ton of foundations, I placed them all down and busted them apart to craft, yes, even more foundations. And once I hit level 20, I set off to get enough hide to craft a forge so I could smelt metal to make those tools. I make my way down the beach where I came across an old friend. And after saying hi, I moved on and came across a parasaur nesting site. Thinking I stand a good chance, I climbed up onto a rock and I threw a spear at one. And since I have bad aim, I had to try again and again. When I finally managed to hit it, it came charging in and it wasn't long before I realized I made a bad decision. Oh yeah. I guess we get to die here. Oh no. After coming to up the beach, I made my way back to my hut, and I came up with a plan. Spiked walls. Those seem to be the logical solution when you can't kill something. In the morning, I headed back to the nest to reclaim my stuff and to kill that parasaur. I still need that hide for the forge. And I dropped the spiked walls as soon as it seen me. And I quickly noticed that there was something off here. Ah, there we go. And it wasn't long dying to its own stupidity. And after skinning it up, I took a quick look around for the nest. But I couldn't find it, sadly. 
But hey, at least I now have enough hide to make that forge. All I need now is some metal, so I hit up the river rocks, and I got some metal smelting. After gathering some more metal, I hear that strange roar again. Oh fuck. Wondering what terrifying creature that could be, I keep gathering away until a drop comes down nearby. But unfortunately, it didn't have anything of use in it. I head back to base and I craft a smithy and I make myself my first metal tools and I see another drop coming down and this one has a ring on it. But somehow it ended up being worse than the last one. Day six, Chaotic was here. Needing more hide, I pushed on down the beach, hoping to find those parasaurs again. But they appear to have left the area. I move on and I find a huge herd of trikes. Can trikes break spiked walls? Guess I get to find out. You know what they say, fuck around. Find out. It's working. Oh shit, they can break them. Okay, I guess I'm out of here. Oh, they smashed them. Damn it. Disappointed in myself, I make my way back home. Oh fuck, that's a Quetzal. I cautiously move away from the Quetz just in case they are also aggressive. And I'm not in a sciency mood right now. After building myself some replacement spiked walls, I decided that maybe those galleys would be easier to kill. Oh boy, how wrong I was. <laughs> Thankfully I respawned nearby. Dude, the galleys just killed a Carno. And I was able to just chill and wait when suddenly something caught my eye. How's the Baryonyx in this mix? I picked up the spiked walls and I moved it over a bit so I could grab my stuff. And in chaotic fashion, I decided to fix what wasn't broken. This started my long descent into madness. Rest in peace. Baryonyx is running scared. I'm going to assume this is my opportunity to grab my shit. I assumed wrong. Oh God. Day seven was the day everything went to hell. Oh, that Parasaur's mad at me. No, bad, bad. Ah, oh. at some point I'll get some luck, but now what's trying to eat me? It's a Sarko and it keeps missing. I keep juking it. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm going to suffer the price soon. There we go. At this point, I think I better have to just keep killing myself and respawning until I end up where I'm supposed to be. So there's the para that's camping my corpse. There's the other corpse where the Sarko is probably camping it. And I got no stamina. Are you coming after me? Dude, the Dometrodon's trying to eat me now, but at least I can outrun it. I wonder if I can get it and the Parasaur to fight each other and if it'll win. Classic arc move. Okay, here comes the Para. No, fight each other. Fight each other. No, not me. <laughs> no, no, fuck me. Oh, now the frog's mad at me for no reason. I'm going to take a nap. I'm taking a nap. Good news is the Dimetrodon and the Parasaur are fighting. The bad news is I'm dead. The Parasaur beat the Dimetrodon. No, you are fighting the galley, you son of a bitch. And here comes the Parasaurs. One health, no health. Do I die before the para hits me? Yes. Fuck you, Parasaur. You don't get the kill. Quit spawning me on the side of the river. Fuck me. I'm on the right side. But after a lot of deaths, I finally made it back and recovered my stuff. And I got the extra hide I needed. Oh, no. Once they took off, I made my way home and I built a raft to call my home for now. And after naming my boat, calling it the Titanic, I find another green drop coming down. Oh, hide armor set, sick. Fucking went from three pieces of cloth armor to a full hide set. Now I could die in five hits instead of three. After that, I hatched the compy egg. Here, little baby compy. All right, we need a name for a compy. Nat, go. Compy miss prom. And then I get to work on building a nice houseboat. And by the end of day 10, I was finished with it in all of its glory. So I set off to start investigating the island for clues as to what the heck is happening here. I traveled through the night until something caught my eye. There's a 
Thranodon. I couldn't resist the chance to get into the air, so I decided to naked run over and check it out. You can't see me. Oh, he sees me. Wanna be a nest here? Be a nest? Nope. Ouch. Why I'm naked. This is why I'm naked. This is why I'm naked. <laughs> After thinking about it, I grabbed my spiked walls and it took a couple of tries. But I do manage to finally kill it. Well, I guess technically it killed itself. But I wasn't able to find the nest. Not sure if I was bamboozled again. I went back to the boathouse for the night. And I added some lights because it was really dark in my house. Early in the morning, I set off to try and find that nest again. And a raptor introduced himself. Oh, fuck! Holy fuck. I, I might have dribbled a little bit there. Satisfied the raptor was gone, I carried on with the egg hunt. And after a ton of searching, I luckily found it in the grass. And after waiting for what felt like forever, I claimed my egg and I went back to my boat. Only to learn that the nest I made wasn't good enough to hatch the pteranodon? That ain't gonna hatch it, is it? Ugh. So for my next step, I need to find the ingredients to make a new nest. No! I need clay? Androconic polymer! Fucking stole an egg for nothing! I thought this was gonna be easy. I thought it was gonna be easier. That was your first mistake. No, my first mistake was letting Crow talk me into fucking playing this. So, for my next step, I need to find the ingredients to make a better nest. Little did I know at the time that this was going to take a while, especially with all the distractions ahead of me. Those otters? <gasps> There's a whole fucking herd of otters! Wait, better, I gotta look this up. Oh, wait, Alexa, what is a group of otters called? A group of otters are called a bevy. A bevy! A bevy of otters! Hi! Put raw salmon row in last item slot to feed. Salmon row. What is salmon? Oh, 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 hi. Hi, hi. Oh, hi. Hi, guys. You guys want to be my friend? Can you tell me where to get salmon row? What the fuck is salmon row? Yes, go inside my house. Go inside my house. Yes, come on. Come on. You too. You too. All right, closing the door. You're all mine. <laughs> You're mine. Nobody said I need to actually tame you. <laughs> yes, you cute little shits. Come for the ride. Taking off with my newfound friends, we worked our way around the island, hunting for Sam and Roe, and after traveling through the day, nightfall came, and I just stopped to take a moment to enjoy the view. Oh, we got out. Oh, come back, Jerry! Jerry! Oh. They all escaped. Back on track, I headed into the swamps to see if I could find some Hesperonis nests and I found everything but them. I came across a tropio nest, and I was tempted, but I opted out of needless suffering. Species X. And I scooped some seeds. After that, I ran into a Deinonychus nesting site, and I made a good attempt at getting them down. But they were too smart for me, and I ended up having to retreat before they tore my home asunder. Knowing it would be better to upgrade my spiked walls to their metal variant, I set off to the one and only metal location I could remember that's on the map. On my way there, I found another dodo nesting site, and I learned I could rip the feathers right off them while they're alive. I need your feathers. Yoink, yoink, yoink. And after taking out an aggressive one, I yoinked the egg and I headed back to my hunt for metal. After arriving to the area I knew the metal was in, I set off into the jungle and I quickly regretted my life choices. Oh, fuck! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! No! Compass Prime! Fuck! Running back, I ran into an old nemesis. <gasps> I'm sorry. Don't aggro, little Capro. Don't aggro. Don't aggro. Please don't aggro. Back away. Backing away. Okay. We're gonna go this way now. And after some stealthy maneuvers, I recovered my stuff and I headed back up the hill. Oh, shit! There he comes. <laughs> you fucking assholes! Come back once more to try and sneak my way back to my bag. Sneaky-dee-sneak-sneak-sneak-sneak-sneak. 
Did not work. I make my way back once again. Ah, you fucker. Really? And again. Really? Totally forgot about the fucking Capro that was hiding in the bushes. Oh. Do I just consider my shit lost? No. You grind and persevere and push forward to get it back. You got this. I believe in you. Oh, that was all I needed to know. Time to build my shit. I made a new pick, and I tried to naked run to the metal's location. When I came across something shiny in the darkness, I soon realized it was a nest, but I was spotted by something else. Really? 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 Leave me alone! Leave me alone! After making some new spiked walls, I made my way back up to the nest, and I claimed my prize. This Nitana Boa nest? <laughs> you fucking Donaticus. Oh, now it's outside my house. Nice. Back away, Donaticus. I have a spike wall and I'm not afraid to use it. Sick of all these deaths, I head back up the mountain and I see my old Capro buddy again. This time, I get the drop on him. But I didn't quite realize he was working with the Spino. I make my way back to find the Spino and the Capro are tag teaming my spiked walls. And I choose to go the other way up. I managed to get my old stuff back from dying way back then, and I noticed that my spiked walls here had done their job. So I scoop up the free hide and feathers, and I finally reach the metal nodes I so long ago set out for. I'm not gonna be able to take Jack's shit back, but a little bit is better than nothing. I almost got enough to make one metal spiked wall. After mining all I can carry, I make my way back to the boat and I notice a huge nest, and curiosity gets the better of me. Oh, it's a sarco nest. Oh! With some quick thinking, I placed my spike walls, and I let Darwin's theory do the rest. After collecting its resources, I make it back to my boathouse. I deposit my hard-earned metal into the forge. Once it's smelted up, I make a much-needed crossbow and some arrows to go with it now that I have enough feathers and I kill this stupid Dillo that's been plaguing me and my boat. Hell yeah, first killing blow that didn't have spike walls. I win. I proceed back into the jungle to acquire that Sarko egg. And after that, I find a Denonicus nest where they first killed me. I'm starting to feel like I'm making progress. Got a Denonicus egg. <laughs> so I got Sarko egg, a Denonicus egg, and now I get the fuck out of here egg. Set off to prepare for the next hard part of my plan get organic polymer so I can make that next tier of nest and thinking my best ploy is to stick with what I know I pull over to gather some wood for those metal spike walls and I quickly found out I was in the wrong neighborhood again oh shit sounds like he's having a lot of fun walked out right into a denonicus nest interesting interesting <laughs> I maneuver my boat around, and I grab my stuff, and then I contemplate the value of my spiked walls. And I opt out to make new ones later, and I set sail for a safer location. I find a safish river inlet with a waterfall, and I get to work harvesting wood and river rocks. I start to wonder, what could be causing all these creatures to be so hyper-aggressive and be in herds? Could it be that strange roaring I keep hearing in the distance? Now for the part I've been dreading, crossing the deep open water. All it would take is one lead and all of my progress would be lost. All right, time to nut up or shut up or go big, go home. If we get sunk, that's why we called it the Titanic. And here we go. Oh my God, this is such a long stretch. If I get sunk, I lose all my progress, all of it. But I've worked so hard for it. I managed to make it across with slightly elevated blood pressure. More than my doctor would like. Now to find the main reason I'm here. Mantis. 
I need that organic polymer, and they are my ticket to it. As I make my way down the desert coast, I see an Anki with some young. And thinking it would be nice to have a Spanky, I step out into a swarm of micro raptors, and I am quickly pushed back into my boat. It might be best to leave. Oh my god! Get the fuck out of my house! After killing the ones inside my boat, I go and I test out my metal spike walls on the ones on the outside. And one of them drop kicks me right into it. <laughs> I get my revenge and I take a look for that Anki nest, but to no avail. I set off to find a mantis nesting site on the shore. I did not find one, but I did come across some metal nodes, so I finished off the day stocking up. I thought it might be best to do a naked run through the desert to see if I could find any mantis nesting sites. But after running for what felt like forever, all I found was an angry terror bird who quickly sent me back to my boat. I took that as a sign I needed to move further up the beach to find more open desert. By nightfall I had found that open desert and I headed in. Oh, it's a fucking pego, figures. I got nothing on me, Pegos. Go away. There's some mantis. Fuck yeah. They're just fucking up a terror bird. That makes me feel good. Oh, speaking of terror birds. No, ass fucking hole. I didn't want, want the fast way home. I grabbed my spiked walls, geared up, and I rushed back to where I seen those mantis. And once I had caught up to them, I placed down my spiked walls. And I hoped I could kill it but it gave me just a little bit of trouble. I tried to track it down after it left, but I ran into a danger noodle or two and learned a very painful lesson. <laughs> okay, apparently snakes knock you the fuck out from range. This is new. Oh, every time I get one step closer, I take two steps back. I'm just gonna hope that those snakes locked onto my spiked walls and are dead by the time I get there. On my way back, I seen a corpse of a fallen survivor. And as I searched it for loot, I got ambushed by ants. And I quickly gained the unwanted attention of the mantis. <laughs> Once I got back, I looted the body and then repeated past mistakes. Over and over again. But at least I was making progress each attempt. Please give me 20 organic polymer. Please give me 20 organic polymer. Please give me 20 organic polymer. Four fucking, four fucking, Jesus, fuck. Welcome to the hunting. <laughs> Welcome to the hunting. Oh no, he's in here with me. Only 16 more organic polymer to go. Only 16 more organic polymer to go. I need you to tell me I can quit this game if I want to. So you may leave. Bitch, don't tell me what to do. Only 16. That's four. That's four less than what we needed five minutes ago. On day 20, after a couple of more kills and deaths, I managed to get exactly 20 organic polymer. It's 20 even. <laughs> and I made my way back to my boat and gleefully made my new nest. I then realized I needed oil to run the nest. So I set off on the long and arduous journey up the desert and across the ocean, scouring everywhere for oil. Remembering I did see some oil somewhere near the swamps in the ocean, I turned around and I managed to find it in the depths. I think I found some oil. Oh yeah, but it's deep. I deposited my stuff just in case and I swam down and scooped some and I tried to make it back before I drowned. <laughs> Fuck. Now, all I need is some crystal to make some soul balls so I can keep my new baby safe. So I set off looking for mountains that may have what I need. I make landfall on a nearby island and I headed into the jungle. And after a weird noise, I spooked right back out of the jungle. Fuck was that? But I quickly nutted up and I walked right back in where I found a berry stuck on some trees. And I figured that that might be an easy kill, but it took off into the darkness and I couldn't see where it went. And I had to wait out the night right there. 
In the morning, I ran back to the beach where my old buddy from the night before was waiting for me. I quickly threw down the walls just in the nick of time. Once it took off, I picked up the spikes and I got the heck out of there. I carried on and I managed to come across a very nice drop filled with much needed arrows. I then made my way up the island's coast where I found a Pelagonorus nesting site and I got a free egg. I carried on until I seen a mountainous looking hill, and I stopped to check it out, where I found some metal, but no crystal. I grabbed all the metal I could carry, and I headed back to my boat, where I seen a baby over after. One of them would be nice for passive egg production, so I looked around for a nest, but all I got was a shattered ego. I packed up, and I moved to the other side of the island to search for some crystal there and I came up empty handed once again. I moved around some more and headed up the hill when I seen a pteranodon just chilling. Worried it was another nest defender, I snuck my way around and made my way up the hill, finding more metal. After making a couple of trips for metal, I decided to explore around and I stumbled upon some crystal in the valley between the hills. Heck yeah. And after making up some soul balls, I threw out my eggs and I began to hatch them out, one by one. Finally, making some real progress. I should be able to start investigating things soon. After raising them, I named them all after some of my awesome Patreons. Links in the description. The next day, I decided to see if the other Pteranodon from the day before was a nest defender. And it was, so I attempted to kill it in my usual way. But I had to sacrifice myself once or twice. It killed me so hard that Ark literally crashed. Fucker killed me so hard my game crashed. Once I managed to log back in, I got a surprise visit from the SBI. Oh fuck, 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 fuck! And after some quick maneuvering, I potted up my babies just in case the SBI came back with a search warrant. I proceeded to sacrifice myself for the content, and after a while, it finally died to my immovable object. And I claimed my hard-earned prize. I crafted a saddle kit and realized my work had only just begun, as I now need to find core fiber, and at this point, I have no idea how to get it, so I asked my good old buddy, Natural Causes. Hi, how do I get core fiber? Um, you need to get uh, coconut droops and then you plant them. Now I gotta go fucking gardening for a fucking s- oh. <laughs> <laughs> You get to hear four words from me. Welcome to the hunted. Great, more work for me. I headed out and the SBI came back with that warrant, but I hightailed it out of there and it gave chase. I kept sailing trying to outrun it, but it was very persistent. I managed to lose it on the other side of the island when it got distracted by some sketchy looking dodos. Probably distracted out of something else. Damn! And he's gone. Went for the dodos. What a champ. I came across a lone metal vein, and I mined the crap out of it, and then I gathered a ton of other resources while I was at it. I needed some more room for crop plots, so I started to do some expansion on my little boat. And once I finished, I planted the lone coconut seed that I forgot I found on a dead guy in the desert way back when we were looking for organic polymer. In the morning, I added some wings to my boat, so I could place large crop plots for the Species X seeds for when I get fertilizer going. Then I finished off my expansion by adding a proper balcony to the front of the house and crafted up a long neck rifle to deal with all those pesky dinosaurs. And then I set off for the desert to tame myself a dung beetle for that easy fertilizer production and to get more organic polymer. On the way, I sacrificed myself a couple of times to get way more oil to run the nest. And then I couldn't resist testing my new rifle on the local Pteranodon nest defender all those arrows back, bitch. I happened upon a safer way to cross the ocean to the desert. And once I get there, I trek into the wastelands where I quickly found a dung beetle. And I'm not long taming it up and taking it home on foot because, well, I forgot my soul balls on the boat. 
I then make my way back out into the desert in search of the remaining chitin and polymer I'll need. And after killing a few more bugs, I run into a lystro nest and I egg nap them. Oh, you mad at me. You mad at me. Thank you for the baby and the coconut. Before moving deeper into the desert. <laughs> that hurt. Well, that was easy enough. I guess I'm starting to skill up some. I scoop up some fray oil, and then I get ambushed by some slinky boys. And after playing dodge that spit for a while, they get bored and leave. Thankfully those things all aggressed over there. Surprised that this journey was so easy, I made my way home confident that I was set to start investigating what's going on here. Oh, fuck! I quickly snapped down a spiked wall, hoping that it would slow Gorgonok down. Jesus Christ. The one thing. And I make my way around, hoping to get to my boat. I run away, attempting to dodge the flying boulders of doom. The one thing. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Son of a bitch. I respawn, hoping it's not coming for the house. I sail away, relieved it's distracted on my spiked walls. A worthy sacrifice. Those spiked walls really come in handy. Once I am safe, I craft a soul terminal and I set it up for auto. I place down some more crop plots and I hatch the eggs that I found. The parking police showed up. Oh shit and I had to move locations. In my hurry, I remembered my eggs were still down. I swung back around, and I picked them up, and I made my escape. Yeah, yeah, fuck you, asshole. I was trying to hatch eggs. You're lucky the babies didn't come out yet. Once my eggs hatch, I imprint them. And as I'm imprinting them, I discover that when they run out of food, they pass out from the hunger. Incredibly relatable. Oh my god, pass it out on me. I then named them after more of my awesome Patreon supporters. I planted my species X seeds, and waiting on my plants to grow, I went to work. Took a nap, and then I picked up some berries, plus I had to deal with a rampaging swarm of dimorphodons. Ah, oh, somehow managed to bite me through it still. The next day, my crops were fully grown, and I finally had my core fiber. I took a moment to set up my turret plants, and then I used my new plants to wipe out a pot of whales and a lone plesiosaur. But I couldn't hold my breath long enough to make use of their resources. After failing that, I set off for the desert to go and get some apex drops I need in order to activate the implant in order to craft my first saddle. My turrets ended up wiping out everything. And after finding a snake, I played ping pong with it. I crafted up my first saddle, and I empowered Emir, and we went for a test run. Die! <laughs> after that, I seen some more snakes, and wanting to make some more saddles, I set up for the kill, and my overconfidence was nearly my downfall. No, go now. My Denonicus keeps harvesting that fucking snake. I won't be able to get the fucking venom, you. Once I was awake again, once I was awake again, I make my way back to the Titanic, and noticed it was a graveyard there. There's just dead things all over my boat. <laughs> Fucking dead vultures. I then crafted a saddle for Livy, and we took to the skies. Well, that was a very short flight. Good to know that hungry adults also take naps. After waiting around a while, she woke up and we took off again. We went on the hunt for Anki eggs and we searched for a long, long, long time. And all we managed to find was some dying aloes, an iguanodon nest, and some desert cloth. Desert cloth? Noise. I decided to head back to the boat and as I was landing for stamina, I got ambushed.
Oh shit. I fucked up. Um adding insult to injury, a pego stole my food. But I managed to snipe him on the run. Rip Livy. Hang on, I got fucking Mirror on me. As I went to retrieve it with a mirror, another pego distracted me while the other one yoinked one of my looted implants. Fuck my fucking implant? Fucking monster. Where'd he go? That was a Delta implant. Give it back! Mr. Pago, I got berries for you. Come here. Kitty, I got a message for you. I hate pegos, and this is why. Seriously, it just took off. It's gone. Phased out of existence. There he is. I made my way back towards home and discovered a mantis nest. I think that's a mantis nest. Mantis level one. It is a mantis nest. Gargantuan. Yeah, I know you're not happy about me stealing your baby, but I'm happy about stealing your baby, and that's what matters. After that nice scoop, I made it back home. And I set sail for somewhere to raise up some new baby pteranodon replacements. But along the way, I came across a carno nest. I set everything up on a small island, and I let my PTs have some sexy time. While I attended to the other eggs I could hatch. The next day, I gathered everything up and I set off to see what else I could find. And what I found, no one could expect. Oh shit. What the fuck is that? Oh. Oh, it's gated on me. I don't think my turrets are enough. Holy shit. The fuck was that thing? I think I got some work cut out for me. That thing might be the cause of why all the creatures on this arc have herded up. I journey around to the other side of the island, hoping that this thing doesn't follow me. I make my way into the highland swamps, and I find some beavers and their dams. And I'm not going to pass up on some easy pace. Oh, these are beavers. Oh, look at all that paste! I even come into a school of salmon, and I finally collect that salmon row I needed to tame those otters. Too bad they're not here anymore. I then headed into the swamp to gather some rare mushrooms. But it was taking way too long, so I decided to raise my iguanodon baby. But once again, I did not have the right implant to make the saddle yet. I parked my house away from the swamp, and I took off with family PVE to search for an implant. But I got distracted by a large herd of stegos, and a stego would be a really nice gatherer to have. Gonna be here a while. <laughs> Honeycomb Rel is a musher. Okay. I did not know that. Um... Honeycomb morel you get as a bar product from using the living nest, if I remember correctly. Oh, okay. All the more reason to make one as soon as possible then, because I need it for kibble. But I got a stego egg. Those stegos are going to bum rush those poor raptors. <laughs> nice. I returned home without finding the implant I needed, so I named my iguanodon, and then I crafted a living nest. Oh, damn, this fucking nest is huge. Oh. I decide that a home base would be a great idea, but fearing that mutated Giga thing, I thought maybe an ocean platform base would be a good idea. And I headed out to look for metal. And I looked and looked and looked. And deciding I needed to take a break, I raised up some of my new eggs on a small island. Angler gel. Shit. You got a mutation. What'd you get? Wait. Damn. Once I imprinted them, I named them after all even more amazing, awesome Patreons. And the next day, I set off to explore around this island chain where I found a small amount of metal. Oh, there's some metal here, too. Okay. Interesting. So I returned to my boat to finish up raising the last of my babies. I made some more ammo and a shiny new scope for my long neck. Nice, looking good. 
And after Tom grew up, I make some more crop plots to grow even more plant turrets. And then we set off for the desert once more for silk and pelt so I can make some new saddles. Where I find an Anki nesting ground. Mm -hmm. Is that baby Ankylos? Did we find a nest? It's about damn time. I spent a while killing off the group before I was finally able to scoop my first Anki egg. I headed up the beach and I found a large group of Amargas, Paki Rhinos, and Trikes. I decided to go on my biggest killing spree yet and take a shot at getting an Amarga egg. I started picking things off one by one with my boat and my spiked walls and I started making my way inland scooping egg after egg, nest after nest, when I seen some Ovis wandering around. And I got thinking that wool counts as pelt, right? Taming up a couple of those would save me so much grind since I need to figure out a way to take down that ugly ass giga. Simple kibble for Ovis. I went back to my boat to see if I could make some. Salmon roe and cooked fish. I could tame an Ovis. Interesting. But I didn't have any small eggs, only tiny or medium. What the fuck is a small then? So I searched around for small egg nests. But every nest I looked at turned out to be either tiny or medium. Very confusing to me, since the animals that I find are clearly bigger or smaller than their egg would suggest. I seen a purple drop. Fuck you! I did not consent! Oh, that was close. That was very fucking close. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And then I took a little bit more precaution for the green drop. I moved up the beach some more and found some parasaur nests hoping that they were small. And after clearing out the paras and some invading aloes, tiny, fuck off. What is going on here? All right, what's the next egg up? Can I make the next egg up then? Make three the next egg up. Just like that. Boom. Fucking forget about it. Ha. <laughs> ha. Medium dino egg. Run it on. Medium. We're making kibble. For any Ovis that survived that rampage. I found some baby sheep and I tamed up both of them. I then take a moment to find the aloe's nest in the area. And I managed to grab the egg from them too. Moving on, I snagged another Carno egg and then begin to raise up my new sheep, giving them their new names too. Now that I have a ton of kibble, I went to see what it would take to tame a Dodicarus. Superior kibble for the Dodic, seriously? Giving up on my dreams for a bit, I take a moment to hatch some more eggs when I get attacked by the unlikeliest of creatures. Taking absolutely no risks, I leave the area and I get back on track to find some silk and I happened upon a Lamantria, and I hunted it down. Got him. And it drops seeds that grow into plants that attract silkworms. Narrow leaf seeds? That is interesting. I then got distracted for a moment. You just wandering around? Calm down, shh, shh, shh. Calm down, look, I'm, I'm, I'm small and tiny like you, look. Look, yeah, yeah, I'm tiny. Come on. Brood. A beauty. 135 and I can't even tame the bitch. I was gonna grab that yellow, but I don't think I'm going to now. Let's go see my little Jaboa buddy calm down. Well, you know what's Carly freaking them out? <gasps> no! Damn, I totally forgot you need fucking. After waking up family, I gave up on the idea of taming the cute little Jaboas, and I set sail back to the island chain and decided to take a shortcut across the deep ocean water. I quickly regretted it. I'm being chased by a Moza. Not cool, bud. Not cool. He's thinking about it, but my turrets are keeping him back. Oh, he's just following me. This is creepy. I make it back to the island thinking that I might have lost it. Oh, he's still following me. Oh, 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 no. He's fucking toying with me. Look, I'm not a snack, okay? I'm not a snack. Piss off. Oh, fuck, this water's shallow here. He can't get to me. Piss off! You want some more? 
Yeah, that's where I thought. My home. Fuck off. Give you one more for the road. Deciding that all of my excursions were a good way to get fully wiped, I started gathering all I would need for a new home right here on this island. And after gathering a ton of stone and wood, I placed down my foundations for my new house. I put down some nice stone walls for the corners, two wooden door frames, and I added some stone half walls for division. And then after gathering some crystal, I set up some nice glass windows for some natural light. And then I added the remaining half walls to finish it off. And then I went with a thatch roof. And after all of that was finished, I got some eggs incubating, crafted a fabricator, and I moved everything else in. I then moved my garden off the roof of the houseboat. And I mined up the metal that I found on the other island. I finished setting up my baby raising area, and I went to see how much wool I would need for that superior saddle. Oh, no. Wool doesn't count as pelt. Fucking bull. Yet. Well, at least my new base is looking good. I spent all of day 49 gathering food and raising all of my new baby dinos. I then set off to get some pearls so I could make electronics for a generator and a fridge. I found tons of raw prime fish meat too. You get raw prime fish meat from silica pearls? Yeah, raw prime meat from silica pearls. I was unaware of this black magic. I returned home and placed the meat into the cooker. And then I noticed something. Why ain't this cooking pot able to cook prime fish meat? I make up some campfires and discover it can't be cooked. Superstructures, the hunted, and vanilla campfires won't cook this prime fish meat. So that just completely removes the superior kibble from a list of things that I can make. Carrying on, I name my Yankee. Fine cake. Gotta have a spanky every playthrough. And then I name the rest of my dinos after Patreons. Boom. And with that, I'm out of Patreons to name new dinos after. I headed out to see if I could get my hands on some Baryonyx eggs so I could swim out into the ocean for angler gel. And on my way, I killed a couple of basilos with my plant species. And after attempting to gather up their resources, 57, that's all I get. I move up the river and gather what I can as I go. I even attempt to tame up a tadpole, but it unfortunately wandered into my turrets before I could. I carry on making my way through the swamp. There was tons of fighting and I even managed to pick up a hitchhiking frog. And when I made an attempt to kick him out, I attracted the attention of a pack of Deinonychus. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Bad time to take a nap, Chaotic. Bad fucking time to take a nap! Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh! Spin me right round, baby, right round. Like a record, baby, right round, round, round. After a long fight, I managed to fend them all off, and I had to do a ton of repairs before I could get going again. After that, I make my way up the river until I made it to the Redwoods Castle, and I came across a large group of Sarkos, and after wiping them out, I grabbed some of their Apex items so I could make other saddles, and I continued on, where I ran into a massive overspawn of Spinos. After realizing I'm not gonna be able to kill them all off, I make my way out and I pick up another hitchhiker. And I, for the life of me, could not get it off the boat. So I brought out a mirror and hoped he could hit it from the outside. And then I threw him inside and sent him in. Moving on, I find lots of baryonyx, but no nests. And I went on into a large stego territory. And this is where things really went wrong. Thinking I could kill them all and gain a few more eggs, I maneuvered around and I picked them off one by one. When suddenly, I get stuck. Not sure what I could even do, I make new beds and place them down since the old ones got broke in the swamp. I brought out family to take a look around since I had nothing better to do anyways. Seeing this and that, but not any baryonyx nest, I stopped for stamina when I got spit on by a titanoboa. Fuck me. Or is that I hadn't died in a while? I returned to try and save my Pteranodon, but I got spit on again. Oh! When I got back, I placed some spike walls and noticed both of my tames were dead. 
Rest in peace, my friends. Uh, oh, you okay there, Chaotic? Yeah, doing fan-fucking-tastic. All I want to do is recover my fucking saddle, try and get this boat unstuck, go the fuck back to base. It was this moment that I noticed I didn't make a bed back at base. In the middle of the ocean. I have no way to get to it. Remember those mixed emotions I was having? They're starting to become a little more clear. I spawn back in and I'm totally lost as to what I can even do here. No tames, no ride home, an infinite horde of stegos assaulting my raft, and those saddles are incredibly valuable. So the first thing I do is make an attempt at getting them back. But there's so much here trying to kill me and I'm forced to tactically place spikes to keep myself safe. Well, until I turn myself into a ping pong ball. Sir, I do not appreciate this. After a while, I see a lone bag under the water, and I think I might have found it. But I had company I had to deal with first. I got it after a few minutes of waiting, but I didn't have it for long. Now all that's left is to get this stupid raft unstuck. Chaotic has achieved a new title. The Slayer of Stegos. Ah, oh, for fuck off, oh, you <laughs> son of a mission fucking snake. Oh. <laughs> oh, I saw that. Failing that, and absolutely out of ideas, I'm nearly ready to give up on the Titanic. Not how I pictured it being lost. The Stegos never stop coming, and I'm running out of patience when an idea hits me. Like, if I go find the nest and delete the nest, will these things stop respawning? Uh, I think so, yeah. Excuse me, Mr. Stego Nest. I take off in search of the Stegos Nest. Uh, access denied. Please check again later. Oh god, damn it. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I'm dead, it's just a matter of what. Oh, here comes the snake. Where the fuck are these stupid nests? Ah! Baby stegos everywhere. No fucking nests. Pretty sure I've killed a hundred stegos. Dude, they're running from across the water to go to my boat. I think the last time I was this sick of Ark was when I did Aberration. Nope. Still stuck. But the Stego start doing massive damage to the boat. Kill me. So I decided to take a shortcut to the other side of the map and de-render the population. So hopefully it'll calm down and I can get that raft unstuck. So I decided to go on a small adventure. And I journeyed up to the lighthouse and I poked around before a spider sent me packing back to reality. And yes, the Titanic was still stuck. I tried removing the building pieces, thinking that one of them was causing it to be stuck. But still, no success in getting it to move. And then a Spino came in to say hi, and it took forever to kill, as it would eat the corpses that never despawned. But I did finally manage to get it down, and reality finally sunk in. I was never getting the Titanic unstuck. So I tore it all down, and I tested one last time to see if it was finally unstuck. It wasn't, so I crafted another raft, and I set sail for home. After doing some things, I set out Biscuit Ann, and we flew around our little island chain. And I came across a tiny baby meso. And I just have to tame it, because I miss Chaotic Jr. from the Extinction 100 Days. Nah, look at my little monkey, he's so cute! Little Chaotic Jr. and I are going to get into so much trouble! After raising him up, we took Spanky out to get some metal. I'm so thankful for that auto swing right now. After that, I stumbled upon some otters. I raced home to get that salmon row, so I could tame them. With my three new otters tamed up, I set off for the desert. Do or die, I'm getting the pelt I need for that superior saddle. But I ran out of stamina halfway across the ocean. And there's some creatures here that I do not want to meet face to face yet. I hobbled as far as my Tyranidon would let me before she kicked me off so I could recover stamina and I jumped back on 
thankfully with no problems. Once I head back into the desert, I seen some Argies and I poke around for their nests, but I didn't find any. So I made my way back into the dunes grabbing loot and mantis nests for their silken eggs. After gathering up a few more nesting sites and looting drops, I went hunting for wolves for their pelt. But they really don't drop that much. I see a Megatherium and I thought they might drop some pelt. And after killing it, I got way more pelt from it. So I took off looking for more. When night came, it got so cold I was forced to hunker down with campfires. The next day I killed another Megatherium and I was overweight and slow. Fun fact, a lot of shoulder pets reduce the weight of items in their inventory and I used my otter to do just that so I could fly home with my prize. I made it back to the closest point I could before I could fly back to my island. That way I could recover stamina and make my way across the ocean slowly but surely. I definitely do not want to run out of stamina again. And I just barely make it across the ocean back at my island. And I discovered I still needed more pelt to make this stupid saddle. So I jumped on my raft and I headed back to kill one more Megatherium. As I got there, I noticed a school of itchies and not sure if they would attack I moved on to get my pelt, but I didn't get much from the one that I found, so I had to kill another one, and it didn't have enough either. What's going on here? So one more, I guess. Yay! I return to my raft and I start to head home when I see that school of itchies again. So I decided to try my luck and tame them, and I wasn't long nabbing myself a male and a female. And when I got home, I imprinted them and I crafted my new saddle finally. I threw out Ben and I leveled him up and I picked a fight with the wrong Pteranodon. A high 200 some odd level nest defender and it pushed me back into the water. I tried to place down a spiked wall, but Ben's HP was getting dangerously low. I had no choice but to pot him up. The Pteranodon thankfully died shortly after and I harvested it up. Deciding I'm done with all these shit tames, I craft up a respawn box and I head towards the Wyvern Trench. And as I'm sailing there, I see an Equus. And thinking that might be a good addition for berry gathering that doesn't require a damn saddle, I sneak up on it and I feed it some kibble and jump on its back. And it runs in a straight line, right into a raptor's nest. No! I wake up back at base, make a new raft, and I set sail for my stuff. And as I'm picking it up, the raptors come back and send me home one more time. Aw, oh, fuck off. No. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Out of resources and tames to get there, I'm left with nothing to go retrieve my stuff. I suddenly have a big brain idea. I craft a couple of grappling hooks, and I throw out I don't skate. And I grapple to him and whistle him all the way there. <laughs> I can't make a pelican or a saddle, but that doesn't stop me from getting in the air. <laughs> Who needs saddles? We make it back to my bag and mission impossible it down to my stuff. And after a few technical difficulties and adjustments. Apparently grapples do have a maximum length. <laughs> I need to go a little bit lower. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid. Uh, come here, Mr. Raptor. Come and get me. Yeah. Dangling chaotic shish kebab. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad skate. <laughs> skate, what are you doing? Get back in here. One Raptor down. <laughs> Yeah, come get me. Nothing like dangling myself in the air as bait. I finally get back my stuff. I finish off the rafters, and after building up my box on the raft for just in case I die again, I get back on track to the trench, and I arrive there by nightfall. Knowing how bad my luck is, I want to take a moment and craft up a new bed and a stone box to place down outside the trench. 
as I don't want to risk dying if I haven't set up the old one at the new location. Once I arrive, I see a Sarko and I take it out with Ben, and then I craft a replacement box. I get a very loud visitor at the worst possible moment. Oh, that's a Rex. That's a Rex. And I just passed out! No! Sleep faster! Sleep faster! I'm gonna die. That was incredibly bad timing. Come on, get up, 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 get up. Okay, let's distract on the Sarko corpse. <laughs> winner, winner. Ah, fuck you, bitch. And after some laughs, I took my revenge. I settled in to cook up some food when a wild Alpha Rex appeared. I said my goodbyes to my unwanted friend, and I took off in the skies to the trench, where I seen a pair of car chars, and deciding that if I died on this side, I might not be able to get to my stuff. So I set sail to the other side of the trench. It took me a good chunk of the day to make it there, but I arrived just before nightfall, and I set up my other box. I drop everything into storage, and Biscuit Ann and I flew up to the top, knowing this was probably a one-way trip. And we found a nest early in the morning, and as we worked up the courage to make the run, we were spotted. Ah! Waking back up at the raft, I grabbed Ben and my grapples, and we made our way back up the mountain. I grabbed my stuff, and on our way back, we got boat blocked. So I did the only logical thing I could think of, and I jumped off the cliff. We made it back to the boat safely, and I came up with a new plan. After making up some parachutes and repairing up, I made my way back up to the trench by myself. I wasn't ready to sacrifice another tame for this cause yet. Once I made it there, I jumped in and hoped for the best. Okay, here we go. Big plans require bold moves. Oh, shit. Ah, that almost worked. But I got spotted. <laughs> and I made it back up there again, jumped down, and I found the egg of the wyvern that killed me. 150 lightning wyvern egg. Ark just likes to tease me. So it begins. It's on the ground floor. Ben and I headed back to retrieve everything and hoped we could fight that wyvern for the rights to the egg. <laughs> we got to the top and jumped into the hole. Fuck that up hard. Now that I've lost two good tames, I went back to plan B, and I tried parachuting in again. No oh, fuck. And again. Running low on hide for parachutes, it's time to be bold, and I picked up one of my respawn boxes so I could place it down in the trench and hope I don't die before placing it. I made my way back up, and I noticed my poison wyvern buddy wasn't down there anymore. So I jumped in, placed everything down quickly, juggled my things into the storage box, and picked up the eggs and dumped it into the box and I teleported out using the bed to lose any aggro. I then teleported back to the trench. It's now that special number day, and I have a good feeling as I equip my gear and grab the egg, and I run down the trench hoping for some good luck. And all the time I spent running up and down the trench, all the wyverns had made their way out into the world, and I made it back to my boat completely unscathed. I got a wyvern egg! Hi, hi, hi! Grateful that I finally have a really good tame, and it does not require a stupid saddle, I spent the rest of the day gleefully sailing home, where I put my egg into the nest to hatch it up. I get out my itchies to finish raising them, and I set up Josh as my new main ride for the moment. Now all I need is a saddle for them, and I could search the depths for angler gel for that big nest. 
but I'm lacking in quill hide required for their saddle. So I search for any feathered dinos, hoping to score some easy hide. I get ambushed by some pegos, and they took my crossbow and grapples. The sons of bitches. After killing them all and recovering my stuff, I eat them for their meat because Josh is getting hungry. And as I finished harvesting the last one, I remembered I needed their hide. Oops. At least my wyvern egg hatched. And as I imprinted her, Crow names her. All right, Crow. Female lightning wyvern name. Go. I don't know. I'm just thinking. I, I'm drawing blanks here. Just call it like royal because purple is the color of royalty. I don't know. That's the best I can come up with. Take it or leave it. <laughs> royal it is. I didn't get much done on day 71, but I did finally make a generator. My wyvern royal grew up by day 72, and we went out to take on the world. And to get that damn quill hide for the itchy saddle, but mostly just to level up as much as I could. And the next day I was killing megatheriums to claim as much pelt as I could for another superior saddle. And as I was collecting one last megatherium, nightfall had came, and the monsters of the night had awoke, and they told me to get off their lawn. No! Is Kadic done a stupid? I fly Josh back to my corpse, and I switch out to Royal and collect all of that delicious pelt. And I get a little bit more quill hide. I find that the Megalosaur had a nest, and I claim the egg, and I hear one running towards me. Jump back on Royal, and I lightning breath. And I realize it was just a baby and I jump off. I make my way back and I get this rap stuck too. And I'm forced to run the rest of the way on foot. Somehow by morning I make it back with only a tiny amount of problems. I return to my raft, kill some sarcos and I pick up everything on it. And I make my way home and see that I still need more silk and some crystal to make that Anki saddle. I headed out after that to retrieve my retrieval raft from when those raptors killed me. And I make it my new forward operation base. And I head back to the wyvern trench and I see that there is a car jar nest with an egg. Interesting. I try to kill them and that doesn't work. So I try to lure them away and they're not leaving their nest for nothing. So I give up and I head off into the trench to get more wyvern eggs and I find a 95 egg right away. And after searching, I also grab a 25 lightning egg. Nice, hopefully it'll be a male so I can have my own flock of wyverns. I return home and I left them to hatch one at a time because that was all I could fit on the nest. Though I did try to jam them both on it. I then went out to get the rest of the quill hide leather and I finally made that itchy saddle. Now I'll be able to go under the water and find those angler fish for that precious gel so I can hatch everything else that I've collected. Deciding to finish my Anki saddle, I headed back into the desert for that silk. And after killing some mantis, I went to retrieve the silk and an egg. Fuck. Bullshit. Waking up back at base, I noticed that my wyvern egg hatched, but unfortunately it was female. And after imprinting it, I set off with Monster, and I recovered my stuff. And I carried on getting the silk that I needed. Once I returned home, I gathered all the azelberries and stimberries I had, and I jumped on my itchy. Deciding I don't want to lose Little Chaotic, I set him up on a chibi stand to forever watch over my base and I set off into the depths to find one anglerfish. Just one. All I need is one. Where the heck are they hiding? I found nothing. And I was running low on Azul and Stimberries. So I returned home to gather more before jumping back into the ocean. And I found more of everything but anglerfish. Giving up on the ocean for a minute, I set off for the Wyvern Trench, and I scored a 165 lightning egg. Nice! After killing some Brontos, I returned home to hatch my new egg, hoping for that male. I take off to level up as much as I can because I need some scuba, and berries are not covering it. Since I still need to level up a lot, I went back to that overspawn of Spinos in the Redwoods, where I found a Therry Nest. Nice, but if I don't get the gel, 
I'm not going to be able to hatch it. I did find my spino overspawn and happily murdered all of them. And by morning, I had accumulated a ton of experience and I left the corpses to rot, where I found another theory nest. And later on, I came across an argy nest and I scooped some blue gems out of it. Nice. I carried on hunting down spinos and whatever else I could find, just trying to level up a little bit more. And then I came across the mother load of spinos in the valley. And after some struggle, I managed to find a good perch and I electrocute countless spinos. Well, I just wiped out like 40 fucking spinos, but there's this mountain of corpses, like literally a mountain of corpses. Yeah, if I can find another two more over spawns like that, I'll be level 89. And after that, I continue my hunt for experience to level up. I head to the volcano remembering that the Alpha Rex was there. And I found it and I put it down too. And after harvesting it for all of its resources, 4,000 hide from this Alpha Rex, I found myself more than overweight. After dropping off my loot, I found myself staring at those car chars. And I noticed that they take their time eating a possible opportunity. And after waiting them out, they kill something else. And as they eat, I swoop in and I steal their egg. Nice. And after a quick check of the trench for more wyvern eggs, I found another Alpha Rex. Hey, isn't that the one that blocked my path before? After chasing it around, I finally managed to get it down. And when I went to harvest it, I made a familiar mistake once again. But at least this time I have backup wyverns and I quickly made my way back and I recovered everything. I carried on slaying everything I could find. I even tried taking down a Giga and I was surprised by how easy it was. After killing some more stuff, I come up on another overspawn of Spinos. They're just raining from the sky. But I couldn't find a good place to take them out easily. And as I landed on a hill, I had to quickly kill one and I discovered that it merged with my wyvern. And we were stuck. And no matter how hard I struggled, I just couldn't get away. And the corpse will not eat away. Oh no! Good thing I got that other high level lighting wyvern. Rest in peace, Royal. I pull out my fire wyvern and I go and retrieve my stuff. I don't think I have ever struggled this much in any game, not even Valheim. And that is a close second. I returned home and I put down my first fridge. Now that I'm a high enough level, I crafted the scuba and I headed back out into the ocean. I then came upon my worst possible nightmare, a Tuso near the surface. Yeah, that's a no for me. Um, a squid that can be at the surface? No fucking thank you. Oh, it's coming. Oh no. It's fucking coming! It's still coming! Oh no! Okay. Okay, it's it's not a squid at the surface. No fucking thank you. Alright. No! No! No fucking thank you. I went the other way and I never went that direction ever again. I did take a moment to collect up a ton of oil. And on day 88, with my new lightning wyvern all grown up, it's time to level her up. And after slaughtering countless creatures, my Karchar egg finally hatched, and it hatched into twin females. After imprinting them, I named them Mary-Kate and Ashley, and then I went out to try and level up to 96, so I could make a Karchar saddle, and I found a beehive. Holy crap, I thought those didn't exist anymore. And after that, I found yet another overspawn of Spinos. And I carried on killing Brontos, Gigas, and anything else I could find. It's getting close to my time limit here before I have to take out that Giga. I decided to look for a male for the twins back at home. And I feed the car chars an Iguanodon, and I steal another one of their eggs. Suckers never learn. I went back to the hunt for more levels even killing that Spino friend of mine from the beginning of the adventure. I'm starting to feel the pressure though. Not much time left to save the server. Oh, I'm gonna have to double my efforts and I slay every Stego in the swamp. 
The next day I decided I needed an SS hatchery because my car char egg hatched into the mail that I needed. And I got a ton of breeding to do if I'm going to kill that damn Giga. I head back to the swamp to get the keratin to make it so I can breed lots of baby car chars. And I take one more trip into the ocean to look for angler gel so I can hatch up those other eggs. I need an army here. But I found myself at another loss. So I gathered more oil and flint and stone so I can make spark powder. And I craft up some re-fertilizer for my hatchery. The eggs start pouring in and I took the easiest way to level up, killing all of my baby car chars. Rest in peace, little guys. After that, I did some quick gathering. And on day 94, I had enough car char babies so I could level myself all the way up to level 94 and make that car char saddle. I set off to explore around for a bit while I waited for more eggs and I found something I could have used 80 days ago. And on day 95, I started growing and imprinting my boss army. And by day 96, I was so sick of imprinting that I made myself a nanny and I set off to the redwoods to refine that beehive to steal honey so I could power it. After building up a nice little ramp up, I scooped my honey and after nearly dying to the swarm, I made my way back to base and I threw out a swarm of my own. And all I have to do now is keep them fed until they grow up. After crafting up a soul gun, I pawed up all of my car chars and I set off to test Mary Kate in battle. And well, she's not nearly as good as I hoped. Hopefully my army can take down that savage beast. I find an awesome place that I can lure it to. And after I release my army, I place down a food trough. I filled it with meat and four giga hearts to try and lure it here. And then it was just a matter of waiting for it to come to me. I seen it walking in on the morning of day 100 and I sent my pack in, kill or be killed. That was quick. <laughs> that is down. Well, that was fun. Yeah, it's not worth saving. Blow it up. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, check out this one right here. Yeah, do it. Check it out. I dare you. You'll love it. I promise. I guarantee it. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. Yeah, check it out. Bye.